guys, I'm Rebecca and these are my reviews and I have another shaker and spoon box. Shaker and spoon is a cocktail box that you can get monthly. You can also choose to skip if you are not interested in that month's box. This month is about Japanese whiskey cocktails, which I thought was really interesting. I don't have a lot of experience with Japanese whiskey, although the ones that I have tried were all really, really good. And I know that I've been to places where I had cocktails made with Japanese whiskey and I loved them. So I have high hopes for this box. So they recommend three different bottles for you to buy because they don't send the alcohol in the box. The other two that they recommended weren't available at my local Total Wines and More, so I ended up getting this one, which is a $50 bottle, but I was like, you know what? It sounds really good, and maybe this will be one of those whiskeys that I can offer to people when they come over, assuming I ever get to invite people over to my house again. Anyway, this is seven-year-old Kayo whiskey, and it is, it's the single, so you know, I'm guessing single malt Japanese whiskey. I haven't even opened it yet. I'm very excited to try this. The three that they recommended, one of them was like $30, and then the other two were a little more expensive. And for mixing cocktails, I generally just get the cheaper one, but you know, like I said, it wasn't available. Hmm, smells good. I always like to put my bar tops on. They just help with easy pouring. Let's give this little taste test on its own, shall we? <laughs> Ooh, that's really interesting. Hmm, a lot of different flavors going on there. It is a little bit on the sweet side and quite fruity, actually. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so they sent along some fresh fruit, a bunch of little like bitters and things, some salt, Underberg, which is a German digestive drink. You're supposed to just like shoot it, but I think you can also use it like you would bitters. I also have some of their little mixers. You can actually go onto their website and buy more of these mixers, which I think is really cool because if you find a drink that you absolutely love, you can just order more of these. Okay, so this one is Spiced Pear Honey Cordial. This one is Subtropic Osmanthus Syrup. I think that's a type of flower or plant or something. I don't know, you guys. Uh, some aloe vera juice, which I've totally had before. Colin went through a phase where he was drinking this stuff all the time. And some watermelon sparkling juice drink. So along with all of these wonderful ingredients, you also get some drink cards that tell you what you need and have some glossary words for you in case you don't know what some of these things are. And then all of the ingredients that you will need and some drink cards. And I like that they have the big pictures of what sort of glass each drink goes in. Okay, let's just go ahead and start with the Nippon Cooler. As a showcase for Japanese whiskey's capacity for brightness, this floral melony cooler would go down very fast if it weren't so tempting to savor. Sounds good, right? One and a half-ish ounces of whiskey. Half ounce of the aloe vera drink. If you haven't had this before, it's pretty sweet. It usually has chunks of aloe in there. Yeah, I can see the chunks. One ounce of the osmosis syrup, or whatever it's called. Okay, handy dandy little trick. If you can't get a bottle open, put a rubber band, a rubber band around the top and that helps you get a better grip so that you can open it. Ah, oh, there it goes. Ooh, that's a fun color. Let me just quickly juice some lime here. Almost a half an ounce. We'll go with that. Okay, shots, bitters, two dashes, not drops. One, two, and then two dashes of the Thai bitters. This has a lot of stuff in it, man. One, two, pinch of sea salt. Give it a good shake. And then we add some watermelon juice, sparkling watermelon juice. One ounce into the shaker. And then we strain into a Collins glass over fresh ice. I was kind of wondering what color this would end up being. Because <laughs> it had like the yellow and the red. It's kind of a peachy color. I'm excited about this. Mmm. Ooh. It's a little bit spicy. 
It's got some interesting flavors in there. It's very fruity and it feels refreshing and bright. That's really good. Weird and good. I like that a lot. Okay, off to a good start. I'm excited. That one used like all of the ingredients. That one was a crazy drink. Could you imagine like being at a party and having to make a thousand of those? I would just be like, nope, sorry, we're out. <laughs> Terrible bartender. Next one, Wagtails Sing. So this one is going to go in a rocks glass, akin to an old fashioned in structure. The cocktail takes a turn from there with a newfangled twist, a deepening dose of the herbaceous German bitter digestive or digestif underberg. We start with two ounces of the Japanese whiskey. One, two, half ounce of the spiced pear. Okay, the spiced pear honey cordial. Bar spoon of the underberg. Okay. Oh, it smells very licorice-y. It says on the packaging, like you're not, this isn't a drink, this is an, a shot for digesting your food. Three dashes of the mole bitters. One, two, three dashes. Okay, I have my rocks glass with a large-ish ice cube. It's not very big. I have one of these molds that makes these big, you know, circle ice cubes, but I wanna get one of those trays with the large ice cubes specifically for these kinds of drinks. Okay, so I'm just supposed to stir this one. I don't shake it. And then I strain it over my large-ish ice cube. <laughs> Ugh, I totally need a bigger ice cube for this. And then um, squeeze my lemon, oh, this is terrible. I'm not doing a very good job of squeezing my lemon peel here. There's supposed to be a thing where like you, you light it on fire. Maybe it's just that the squeeze from the lemon peel lights it on fire. And then you're supposed to discard this. You don't actually put it in the drink. I'm just gonna like rub it around the edges. Cheers. Mmm. That tastes familiar. What the heck does that taste like? It's got that lemony citrusiness to it and a little bit of that licorice-y digestiveness to it. But it's also got a sweet syrupy texture. This one also kind of bright and, and fruity. Maybe it's that whiskey. Remember when I was like, just the whiskey on its own tasted fruity? Hmm, that's pretty good though. I like it. I like it. Okay, and for the final cocktail, this one will be served in a coupe glass. Lifted by fresh lemon and adorned with an invitingly scented stark red dash of Peychaud's bitters, this is the brimming coupe to serve when the clock strikes island time. Okay, so one and a half ounces of whiskey. Whoa. One and a half-ish. One ounce subtropic syrup. This one you totally have to shake. It separates like immediately. One ounce. Half ounce of lemon juice. And then you shake it and then double strain it. And you guys, I finally got myself a double strainer. I don't know if the double strainer is totally necessary, but I don't know, so many of these recipes kept calling for it that I was like, I just gotta get one. Okay, and then we add the Peychaud's. Am I saying that right? I feel like I'm not saying that right. And it's one dash. Squish. Okay, you're supposed to like create a circle that floats on top. It's not really a circle and a lot of it is no longer floating. That's okay. Well, let's give it a go. Mmm. Mmm. Tropical tasting. I like this, actually. It's quite tasty. Wow, I really liked all three drinks in this box. They are all on the sweeter, fruity, tropical side. Well, maybe not all of them are tropical, but definitely all sort of sweet and fruity. Okay, I gotta get Colin in here and see what he thinks. Okay, I got Colin. I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> He totally needed a cocktail right now. <laughs> okay, I say start with, um, I don't know, start with this one. What's this? It's a cocktail. Hang on, I don't remember it. It's a wagtail sing. 
It has oh, a spiced citrusy. pear yeah. honey cordial mm -hmm. and some underberg, the German digestive thing, and some lemon. It's a lot of lemon. <laughs> it's very good. It's almost like stickly, stickly, stickly sweet. No. Sticky. Ugh. Sticky sweet. Just mm, like yeah. All right. Sticky. Okay. It's a lot lighter. Yeah. A lot more pleasant tasting. Um, very acidic though. Like in hmm. the back of my throat it feels very, very acidic. I thought it had like a weird spiciness to it. Maybe that's what it is. It, it is super tasty though. Uh, grapefruit? It's good though, right? It's got watermelon and aloe vera juice in mm. it, as well as um, okay. some syrup that I don't know what it is. Os Osmanthus. I'm guessing it's some sort of flower or yeah, plant. Yeah, very, very citrusy. <laughs> That's good though. I like it. And then this one, Miles from the Mainland. This one is more of a tropical. I definitely would like a tropical drink. <laughs> no? You hate that one? That is like a soup that's gone bad. Oh. <sighs> what really? is that? It is kind of curdling. Yeah. I think it's the coconut milk that's in there. <laughs> I liked it. I mean, it's a little tangy. And yeah, the coconut milk is uh, doing something funky, but... Yeah, that's, uh, that's not my favorite. Whatever this was is delicious though. Uh, yeah, I like that one. I thought it was very like refreshing and mm -hmm. fruity, but had a weird spiciness to it that made it interesting. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. not your run of the mill. Syrup uh, has gone off and delicious. Okay. It actually looks like tang. Oh Lord. Right, like the bright orange. <laughs> it almost has a tang, like kind of, kind of back into it. Yeah. All right, can I go work on my car now? Yes. Right, thank thank you. you for your opinions. Your input matters. Thank you. We appreciate you. Well, that was fun. I don't know. I mean, Colin was way more picky about these drinks than I was. He is right about this one. Maybe it has gone off. I mean, maybe shipping did not go well. I mean, I put it in the refrigerator right when I got it and it says refrigerate after opening, but um, I don't know. I don't know, maybe. Or maybe just, you know, because when you mix even coconut milk or any sort of milk with citrus, like lemon juice, it does tend to curdle like that. Maybe it would be better as a shot, right? It doesn't look appetizing, but it's, I, I still think it tastes good. I really like this weird fruity one. I think I'm gonna give this one some more ice cubes to try to, you know, get rid of all of that syrupiness. It still has a syrupiness to it, but I don't know, I still like it. I think it's good. Anyway, I love Shaker and Spoon so much. It is so fun to make my own craft cocktails at home. Maybe not my own, but you know, based on some other fabulous bartender out there. And they do give you some background information on the bartenders who made up these drinks. I love that they are fun and different and interesting. I've absolutely recreated drinks from the cards. I made one from the bourbon box and I just used my own espresso and I didn't have the cherry syrup or whatever so I used like a random liqueur I've made it several times with different liqueurs and just having those measurements really helps it's like one and a half ounces of bourbon one ounce of liqueur and then an ounce of coffee and boom you have a fabulous cocktail and it's so nice you know I've been learning a lot I've been expanding my bar my bar now has lots of different types of booze that I probably wouldn't have bought without somebody saying hey buy this bottle you know it's been fun i love this so anyway i will leave all of the information in the description box as well as my referral link which while i don't really have like an affiliation with shaker and spoon if you guys use that link it helps me to get i think it's like if you share your link with three friends then you get a free box which is awesome keeps me doing these videos and if you like these sort of boozy videos please let me know I would be happy to do more of them and if you have a company that you are curious about let me know I'll check it out all right thank you guys so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video bye